So we've got our little MDF board just put on. Now it might seem like a bit strange that we've had to do that, but it's because the floors in here had actually dropped over time. So when this originally been put in, the floors have shifted. So we know the floors aren't moving now. And um, we've checked that. We've checked the beams underneath. And it's all all good. We just need to fix this so that it actually looks like it's meant to be there. So we've got them all on. Looks good. Time for Terry now to do his arty farty work and make it look like marble, which I'm sure he'll do an amazing job of. And then we'll move on to some other jobs around here because it is at that point now where we're looking at the electrics. You can see there's light in here, it's beautiful. Um, so we need these um, all put on around for the light switches. So Terry's got some beautiful on there light switches and he wants them framed off with these so we can paint them in because we are, like I say, we're at that point now where the electrician's going to be here soon to hook all the electrics and we'll be able to have everything nice on in here. So we're going to go and get on with that now.
So, all of the panelling has got the first coat of stain on. So while that's drying, I've come and had a look at the door. Now the door's all in pine as well. So we're gonna to have to blend this into the same sort of colour that we're creating to match the oak. So I'm just gonna do exactly the same process. I'm the only I'll be it sure because it's just a, a smaller section. So I've got my whitewash, which that's gonna go on first. So this is just all a freshly sanded door. And um, we've went over it a couple of times to get all of the last remaining bits of oak paint off. And um, I think the last one we went over was about 120. So I've got my whitewash that I've made myself. So this is just pure water with some paint. Except we've gone with the one that's got a sort of grey undertone to it, just to remove a bit of that sort of orange colouring that you get from the pine when you stain it. So all I'm going to do is just do a light layer all over the door, even. Um, if you have any excess, then you can just wipe it off after a few minutes once it's started drying into the wood. But all we want to create is just a nice light coating of the whole door. Leave that for a few hours to dry and then we can come over with the wood conditioner to seal it all and then we can get on the first coat of stain. So first things first, I'm going to get on with getting this whitewash on and then go from there. So now all the whitewash is dried on the door. Next stage that we have to do is to put a wood conditioner on. And what this does is this will just soak into the wood and once it's dried, what it will help do is it will help um, put an even finish with the wood stain on. If you don't put this on, then it can go quite blotchy and patchy places, just where the, the pine will absorb a lot more of the stain than certain other areas. So putting this on after the whitewash, it stops a lot of the grey coming through in the stain and then makes it obviously it helps even the colour as well. So I'll get this on now and then I think we have to leave it for about two hours and then we can start putting our first coat of stain on. So I will crack on now.
So now all of the whitewash is dried on the door um, and it's looking, it's looking good, it's looking obviously how we need it. The next stage is to start getting the first of three layers of the stain on. Now obviously we've just got the brown wood stain and um, so if we just put one coat on, leave that dry for a few hours and then repeat it. It's going to take probably about two or three coats to get to the colour that we need. And then once that's done, we can either varnish it, wax it, do whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna go along with the paintbrush to get in the detail. And then I've just got my cloth just to obviously even it all out and just make sure that it covers the whole area and just working with the grain really. So yeah, I will crack on now and get this first layer on. So it's all come together, all these little intricate jobs that need to be done. They're just bringing the rooms together rather than just finishing it all off. Yeah, it's obviously exciting to get to this part because obviously it, it is getting to the finish line yeah. now, which is brilliant. Obviously getting the fireplace sorted, because every time we looked at that, because it had dropped and there was gaps here and there. It just drew your eyes straight to that, then little points, didn't it? Whenever you walked in the room, it's all you seen, even with everything that was so nice. Yeah, you just focus on that because that was the worst thing. So yeah, it's looking good now. Obviously we've got all of that blended in. Yeah. Um, and I think it's quite good doing the little marbling <laughs> thing. And looking at it, you wouldn't know that it wasn't marble. No. You actually wouldn't have done that good a job with the acrylics and that around it. It just looks absolutely superb. Yeah. And I wasn't, so I, I, I used what I had here. So yeah. obviously I didn't have any expensive art sets or anything. No, no, no. It was just a cheap then, action. <laughs> yeah, cheap action paint set and yeah. A feather from the chicken. <laughs> Couldn't find any from the peacocks. So, but it worked out. You know, chicken feathers. Yeah. <laughs> did you actually go and chase the chicken? Or did you just found, no, I found them. <laughs> <laughs> but chickens. I know. I wanted a peacock one, but I couldn't find any. So, no. oh, anyhow, it's all good. But yeah, but that's looking brilliant. Obviously, we've got the plates on for the light switches. So, that'll be the next thing we can get on. Um, doors all sorted. So, we'll be able to get that on now. Once yeah. all the floors have sanded, they're looking brilliant to get them done. And then um, the paint as well, got some exciting news with the paint, so we'll be able to share that with you. The next couple of days we've got some really exciting bits coming up. Yeah, 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 so it's, it's all moving forward and... But again, I think it's the comprehension, like, even just this door. Yeah. This door's been, like, two, three weeks' work. Like, if you add it together, yeah. what's been done to get this door to this... And this is just the door. I know, I know. Just and this. It's the it's the magnitude of all the jobs that we're doing, but just to get it and see it and seeing it's the original doll. Yeah. And just seeing the age and the character and the depth of the wood, it's just it's beautiful. It really is, and it's so nice and it's just gonna draw it all in, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's brilliant. So we're all happy. Yeah, we're all good. Good job's done. So we hope you've enjoyed today's video. We're again just loving all these little jobs and all these little intricate bits. And um, if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you've got the bell click for notifications. And share our video with your friends and family. You can share it on loads of different platforms. Um, we will see you in the next video. Will Goodbye. Do. Bye.
If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon, where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, and get exclusive videos.